I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things Bless fam, how you all doing? If you're new to my channel, God bless you for to the E I really appreciate you God bless you once again If you are yet to subscribe kindly consider doing so get to know much more about life of a domestic worker in hara gulf country i share everything pertaining to life of a kadama shagala my lifestyle experience and also making a cooking video and i hope you enjoyed today's video whereby i will be sharing my grass to grace story with you mm, you'll be wondering what is happening to this girl has she left oman is she not there again what is this juicy news she's going to announce to us get yourself a desirable drinks or snacks to much on and uh, do me this favor by subscribing like share and comment and uh, i would like to hear your say concerning relocating to abroad most especially we africans that can't we do in our own country a business or something else to make it i'll be receiving this same question for a lot of people like why relocating abroad do you think locating the de determine your success or what is life in her broad i've been receiving these questions a lot so tell me what you can say about relocating to abroad to seek for a greener pastures this is correct life of us manager yeah a lot of you are wondering that uh, are you still staying in Oma? are you relocating are you traveling abroad or you be staying in Nigeria, you will know today. Yeah, I'm going to share that with you. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen, so I'm making lunch. Even though it's a delivery, which I'll be doing when I'm through. Yeah, because I'm home alone, my boys are not around. A lot of you will be wondering, that, wow, she's making a delivery. Don't get it wrong. It's the same cup and we have other building, which is also the family member, but... We don't eat together always and uh, since my boss won't be around so i'm delivering food for them today today is saturday and uh, according to the video title we should talk about i'm relocating to canada yeah i'm super super excited to announce to you mm -hmm. i'm happy i'm happy like hmm, living a life of shagala as you guys all know and uh, i'm stepping forward moving forward amen i'm super super excited why am i making this video is because of this yeah that i just mentioned ever since i told you guys that i will be ending my contract um in few month time that was when i i announced to you six months yeah ago so people have been reaching to me asking a series of questions like uh, what what is the next thing i have or what is my next plan am i headed back home or am i still uh remain a shagala or just go for my vacation and resume to my same boss because i do say they are good to me they are very kind i can't dispute that fact but uh, the truth about this thing is life in living abroad i'm going to just say my mind about this and also if you have anything to input or you think uh, it's not a bad idea for me to actually relocate or to cross country because it's easy for me from Oman to canada or to any other choice of country it's so easy that i can do that if i wanted and i think i've once discussed a little bit about this with some people on my illness but i don't go into details yeah People have been asking a series of questions, but I will tell you my honest opinion right now. As I was working towards the last month of my contract, so we have a discussion with my boss that I'm not coming back once I step out of this country. It's not that the way they treated me, no, but I am also fear about that if I want to make another decision of going into Shagala work in any higher growth country, what will I experience? How will it be? You know, people are not the same as we are not equal in character and uh, behavior. So I don't want to undergo the, the that stages of 
getting to know people and uh, try to adjust to a new environment so i not told them that i'm not coming back to their house so i want to start a new life different like a, a new life apart from shagala life because i'm tired of being there yeah so after that some people asked me about my education stuff which i've shared a little bit that i had my nc education and also i mean to all these local stuff food stuff in nigeria before coming for shagala work and um, when i see then that okay if i want to do a cross country like some people suggested to me that oh okay relocating there's nothing bad and if i when i sit down think about even though i'm a living here domestic worker in homa and to god be the glory i'm lucky with the family i'm with and the daily expenses and let me say generally expenses in abroad is massive mad like very very expensive like if you don't have all these side audio or other means of live stream like that will be eating you money it's not that easy for you to say okay i'm starting to my life afresh and abroad and most especially know this if you don't have a sure or assurance that oh there's walk over there don't make this decision i know a lot of shagala like me have have an idea or some have talked to them about it that why don't you just relocate do this and all that like i said i have a lot of friends that we are into this work and we do discuss share ideas together some of them are already into uh outside like they finished their contract and they just decided not to go back to nigeria so they are working outside and the experience they have been sharing with me so far it's not that easy like stay on their whole life living on your own that you are not yet uh <laughs> familiarized with outside you know that we have been indoor for some years that someone is just paying most of our bills we don't have much idea about what to be expecting and for those who are who still have this in mind i'm not using my own video or my own opinion to discouraging you that oh don't go outside when you end your culture because the cost of living but if you are the kind of person that you are hijack you can do the work like you can do this and that you can sustain life in abroad is so sweet but the truth is also that it requires a lot of work and a sure work it's not that you just be saying oh i'm going to depend on one work you, you can depend on one work in abroad but depend on the kind of job you are being into like you are not if you are not into a job that is paying you where hey the bills will exhaust all your salary like most of my friends that i had advised before they leave nigeria that was two months ago uh they said oh you are enjoying it, it, it but it's quite different from africa be in africa we are home only and managing things see a series of complaining now you won't believe that my friend have entered this old man for the last what is happening now for the last two months that he has stepped into this country we haven't seen or met though due to my job i can't see anybody because it's not allowed but he has been so busy trying to stabilize himself and also the reality what i've told him back then because just a friend from online the guy and what i've told him back then about life in abroad was like huh it would be different than all this ever since he stepped here the reality just turned on him so when people were asking me that or giving me an idea or opinion that why can't i relocate why can't i do a cross country like when i think about it and i know what i want you know when you know what you have in your pockets you know if i use all the little cash on me to just cross over and i can't just say because people were bringing that idea to me and just push in without being sure of securing a job you know getting accommodation paying some bills and all that when i sit down i think the best thing for me is just to go back to Nigeria and look around my environment where I'm staying or wherever I wish to be. Maybe I can start something for now to be like 
not that i'm not doing anything but at least that would be keeping me or fetching me some change for a while because i'm a little bit in a state of confusion and uh, i've been speaking with different kind of people they are giving their advice some were very acceptable for me but in other way around though huh? and i know that i have a lot of people living abroad here and i've been watching your videos and i think i have much ideas about the reality of living in abroad and uh, what it takes to survive how you people were living the way you are living and all that the weather adjusting and talking of about having family there i've been thinking so many ways that what should i do should i really relocate it or should i just move back to nigeria my own country and just believe in god hoping in god that everything will be better and then uh, nothing but sharing your opinion with me or what do you think i should do yeah because um it looks so really really fun even when someone told me locating is the best option for you girl why not do that but let's hear from glad friends what is your opinion should i really locate it after telling you that when i think about all this how to survive how to adjust getting start afresh with new people and all that and uh, based on my educational level or should i go back to school yeah i would like to know should i go and study more you know i only have nc education which is just for teacher training if you are in nigeria we understand what we call nc education so that is just what i want to pour out with you and i know we have a lot of people a lot of chagala in this same situation like me some people even came with their certificates their education stuff but as for me i don't have anything related to my education certificate anything here all is in nigeria because i'm into domestic i use domestic uh visa does to get here so i didn't come with anything pertaining to education just finished delivering their food now so as relocating require um, stability in mentality yeah because health mentality eh, it has a lot to do because locating is not that easy so for now i'll be just stepping it down a little bit yeah i'm going to just take my time and uh, probably i will just think of what next to do so i will have to strategize my own plan new plan something like that when i'm back to nigeria but as for now i haven't finalized my own plan like decision what i should do what's next like some people even ask me if i'm letting go of youtube once i step out of Oma, am i not going to be why not i will continue so i think I'm through with some of the questions relating to are you relocating? Are you going back? When are you going back? I used to in Omar. See, I've received that a lot, a lot. In most of my videos, I've been reading, coming across that same question. Different kind of people want just want to know. So that is what I'm going to say. Thank you everyone for watching and see you in my next upload. Bye.